status today but I <laughs> my girl stopped me but basically it was about to say that my favorite artist taught me that it's not about so much um not so much quantity it's about quality of a quality yeah, yeah no doubt. so instead of just keep rushing and dropping music and stuff like that find that one song that you're going to actually push and take the time out if it's a good song and keep you, promoting it and just keep promoting it yeah. you can just keep dropping music it's not going to do anything it's yeah. like it's not going to because it's not going to get pushed and it's not going to get to enough people right like like that bobby schmurter jam that that hit would uh I forget what it was called. What, the, the hot nigga or yeah hot nigga yeah that shit was like three years old before it hit before it hit nationally yeah so I mean, you got like I said, you just got to keep pushing it, and then you know it'll so end up. It'll end up. It'll actually pop. You just yeah. got to keep. And the more you keep focus on one song, the more everyone got that focus towards that one song because your focus is towards that one song. Yeah. And if your focus is on to like, all right, this song, all right, I'm gonna drop this song now. They got now. You, there's, there's too many songs. That's too many songs. Yeah. So I like to like. So I haven't really been dropping anything because I learned that it's not about just keep dropping music, dropping music, dropping music. You gotta like, actually take it in. Exactly, because I mean, the other the other thing is too is like people's attention spans, right? Exactly. You know? And if you if like you drop a song and like they're paying attention to it, and they're like, oh, you dropped another song, so they yeah. pay attention to the first song you put out long enough for it to make an impression. Yes. Yeah, right. exactly. You gotta be long enough to make an impression, so yeah. that way they can fiend for the next song. Yeah. But when you gonna drop something? What's the next thing dropping something? Yeah. Because yeah, that's how. So therefore, that's how I feel like. Me, I, that's how I imagine myself as an artist. I feel like I'm not gonna be that dude to, to drop music a lot. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna have a lot of music. I'm gonna just have to. I'm just trying to drop it where it's right, where it's the right time for me to drop it. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, so, no, no. so lately, I just been, um, I've been working on like that song right there. I shot the video for, it, but I recorded that song a while back. Mm -hmm. That's for like one of those songs. Like, I have a bunch of songs that I. I don't want to drop so fast because I don't want everyone to take the wrong perspective of what I'm trying to be, what I want everyone to see me as. Yeah. Like, I want everyone to see me as, oh, he, he's, a, he's a pop star. Like, I want to be a, everyone knows me as just making, like, radio songs. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to know that I can still rap, like I was saying earlier. I want yeah. everyone to still know that I can rap and still that I'm, I, I like hip-hop more than anything. Yeah. But I know that me melody stuff is what hits and what yeah. gets you the, the, the number, that money yeah. you get, yeah. basically. So, like I tell people all the time, and shit, like you, you know, you could make. Uh, I tell artists all the time, like you can drop a project, and as long as you got like two to three songs on there, like that are radio friendly, maybe hook heavy, yeah. something for the streets. The rest of your album could be about killing babies. Yeah, right. You know, you'd be as hard as you want to be. Right, right. But you gotta have those three the songs, songs that's on gonna there. hit you exactly. Know? And if you don't get that, then it's just a pointless project. Yeah, yeah. No one's going to listen. Everyone's going to tune out after the... I, someone's going to tune out after the first song. If, yeah. if, they don't, if you don't have nothing else to correlate with the other songs, then yeah. it's not going to work out. Yeah. That's why I've been... That's why with me, I haven't been dropping stuff. I've just been studying, like... J. Cole just dropped um, that Dream Deal. Yeah. That album. That, uh, yeah. that right there, I've been studying that. Not even just his songs. It's the yeah. other like, artists. Yeah, like, like, Jid and... Yeah. Uh, um, who is it? Uh, Earth Gang and all yeah. that. The way the wordplay is, I'm just trying to figure out a new way of. It's not so much of 
what what should I say in the song? What to talk about? It's about saying it a way they didn't say it. Yeah. Like everyone mm-hmm. said, like like how like my example was like how Max Lucrimo said uh, Stephen Curry over here, Clay Thompson let it fly. Instead of everyone going, I got the thirty. Stephen Curry. He mm-hmm. said, I got the, the Stephen Curry on my head, Clay Thompson, let it fly. That bar is hard to me. Yeah. He said it differently. Like, yeah. So that's where I'm trying to get at with the words more yeah. than anything. And still yeah. trying to make it not yeah. govern the head, but. Make it relatable, but just say it differently. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Right. So, no, 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 I feel that. That's what I've been trying to really hit focus on and really try to like, because I'm trying to actually stay on topic. I ain't trying to just be scattered and not have a. Uh, uh, essence or a story or anything back yeah. behind it. Like, yeah, like a, a vibe to the project. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. I had to make sure it makes sense. Yeah. So I didn't want to just be like, oh, this, oh, he's feeling this, oh, it's this, but he was just talking about this. Like, I haven't been doing it. It got to make sense. Yeah, basically. yeah, no doubt. Because, I mean, every project, like, in order for it to really work, there has to be some type of arc to it. Like, you know, a beginning, a middle, and then an ending. Right, right, you know? right. And if you do that, like, people more than likely will have a project where people will listen to it from front to back. Mm-hmm. You know, Which it's undeniable is a, is, a, is a class. Yeah, exactly. Because there's not too many people that, I mean, me personally, I, there's only a few people whose projects I can listen to from straight through, straight through <laughs> and, and not even notice that it, it started over again. Right, right. You're, You're just know. like, damn, this is over? It shouldn't have been over. Y'all yeah. need to add more songs. Y'all gonna add in two more. Yeah. Like, just come on. keep that. That's how I'm trying to make my project. So that's why, like, with me, I'm not, I haven't been rushing anything. Yeah. Because I can, I feel like I have, I have every type of song, but it's about how do I want to drop it and how, who's going to gravitate towards it. Yeah. And if it, is it going to last? Like, yeah. I don't want it just to be. And, and sequencing is, is important too. That's probably, mo- honestly, to me, that's, I, the that's one of the most thing. important things. Yeah. You know, because the order of the songs can make a difference. You make a big difference. Because you you're like, damn, ooh, that's great. Oh, all right. Oh, that's crazy. All right, I see why they did that. Because he said that in that song. So that's why I follow. Like, that's how mm-hmm. I be paying. Like, with me, I really take in music yeah. to a T. So, like, yeah. like, with old hip-hop albums, that's why, like, back in the day. you It's like, nowadays, it's like, you're trying to, you can't, you don't know who to anticipate. Back in the day, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, man, I can't wait till it's called Drop an Album. Cause yeah. This album was hard. I know, man, it's, it's hard to really find albums like that. Yeah. So, so, therefore, I'm, like, Right now in this project, I'm just trying to show my my lyrical ability, my storytelling, and showing that I can do all this while still having it, uh, while still having you tuned in, not having yeah. to be dull, yeah. and not thinking that I'm just one, uh, uh, just one like one person that six to one style. I'm trying to show that I'm versatile all over. Right, no doubt, no doubt. So, um, you got a project that Eli's um, um, shot the video for? Yeah, it's uh, well, not yet. He actually, he actually. Got the he said he sends he sent me the video in like three or four days. Yeah. So that's when whenever I get the video, I'm gonna post a little promo for it. But I'm tweaking it because it's more of a it's more of a club banger. Like it's okay. more of a club song. Like not too many people know me for having like a club like people heard it but never seen the visual. Every yeah. visual I have is all singing stuff. Yeah. So now I just wanna show the same the, the whole everyone like, oh, Okay. Like, so you got a visual where you're spitting bars. Yeah, it's just okay. straight bars, straight yeah. through. Yeah. So it's like no singing at all. It's just rap. So okay. it's like more as more of a hit to it. Like a hit. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow. And I'm I'm more excited for that. That's why I've been doing anything. I've been I've been talking about like dropping songs and stuff like that. But like yeah. I've been written waiting for this song so that way it showed me like oh he can rap like he's yeah. really rapping. All right. And then after that, then after that, it's just I don't know how to sequence and plan everything from that. So yeah. This right here is what's going to make everything be easier for me to plan. Right. No doubt. No doubt. What's the name of the song? It's called Oh Man. Oh Man? Okay. Yeah. When, it's by Dan Baker. When, when are you going to drop it? I plan on dropping it in like Thanksgiving week. Okay. Yeah, Thanksgiving weekend for real, for real. All right. No doubt. No doubt. That should be dope. Um, when we play something else, everything, once you introduce everything is better. Yeah, everything's better is basically just showing that like things gotten better from the to everything quality to flow bars music to everything in life in general everything is getting better so that's what this song is it's on a mixtape too. Wrong man guard. Everything is better. One off podcast DJ good night let's go.
good night. Oh man, gone. Everything is better. It's the DJ Good Night One Live podcast. Broadcasting live from 1160 Hodgkin Street, home of One Live Multi Purpose Center. So, what can we expect this weekend? This weekend, I plan on dropping a song just for SoundCloud. Uh, since I haven't dropped anything in a minute, uh, this song is probably it's going to be more of a hip hop song. It's called Pill Pop, talking about basically people who do like a drug or something that fills the hat, that fills their hat, so that way they take away their lows, the way they kill the depression for real, for real. Or yeah. it just might, it just might take over whatever it is that they fill in at that time. So um, when you listen to it, you actually hear more of the the storytelling in this. But there's bars in this song too that mm-hmm. people I, I try to pay attention to. But the storytelling is really deep. And it, um, this song on this, on the track, looking up in this song is probably like my favorite song. Okay. Um, as far as performance this weekend though. Um, um, oh yeah, come perform at a good night's uh, birthday bash, you know, everyone come out to that, because that's about to be lit, yeah. about to perform there, you know, that shit's going to be turned, and for people who don't know, definitely come out, because I'm going to perform songs that you guys didn't hear yet, or that's haven't been released, just for his birthday, you know what I'm saying, just like a birthday gift, right, right. you know what I'm saying, I definitely appreciate it, for sure, um, any shout outs you want to give? Shout out, you know, shout out to my girl, you know what I'm saying, supporting, you know what I'm saying, and then shout out to, shout out to my day one A ones who's been supporting me since the beginning, since I first started this music shit, and supporting, or shout out to the ones who's now just joined along for the ride, and to keep, you know, supporting and following me as we go along this journey for real, bro. Right, no doubt, no doubt, well, definitely look forward to, uh, Hearing new music and uh, for your performance on Saturday, um, definitely gonna be dope. Um, we got a lot of people coming through. And the birthday's about to be crazy. So y'all better fucking come. It's gonna be fucking lit. Yeah, no, like the, the whole weekend is gonna be crazy for me and shit because we're doing the, the show on Saturday, um, and then we're doing uh, like a private party for friends and family on Sunday, which Sunday's my actual birthday. Right, right. You know, so we're gonna have. Uh, I'm actually off on Sunday. I took come through then. Uh, yeah, I took yeah. off on Saturday, get me off on Saturday, and then I'm off on Sunday. Okay, well, yeah, definitely come through, because we'll have, uh, we're going to have chicken and waffles and mimosas. Ooh, yeah. that's on fire. Yeah, yeah, it, it is going to be fire, you know, because uh, my girl be cooking her ass off. She's a, she's really a chef, <laughs> so she's about to uh, get her chef on this weekend, and because uh, I, I, t- I keep trying to get her to, to cater more, so I'm like, well... If I get her to cook for my birthday, <laughs> then I might be able to get her to get her some cooking jobs. <laughs> He's just like, he said, I'm going to get her to get her some more. So I'm going to get her for my birthday. Yeah. That'd be a good reason. Yeah. Swear, that's smooth. That's smart as hell. Yeah, got to get her uh, gotta get her out there, you know. Because, I mean, yeah, think about it. If, if we get, if I can get her, if, if I can get a gig DJ in the wedding. Yeah. And get her a gig catered the same way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, money's yeah, that, that, yeah, she's bringing in killing. Yeah, yeah, there you go. This, yeah, this, we do two of those a month. That's man. how. That's why you're a boss. This is yeah. why you're a boss. This is why you're DJ Good Night. No doubt, no doubt. Well, again, I appreciate you coming through. For and, sure. Uh, Anytime. See you on Saturday. Um, if you're watching, make sure you come through. Um, uh, doors open. In the, uh, we're going from eight until midnight. And we got performances from a ton of artists, so make sure y'all come through. Um, shout out to my man Josh from YNC, who's checking us out. And uh, I'm out. Peace. This has been the One Live DJ Good Night Podcast, broadcasting live from One Live Multi Multi Purpose Center, 1160 Hotkey Street. Make sure you come through and check us out. I'm out. Peace. Don't you hate that when your shit's popping and your phone dies? Yes, bro, that's just, <laughs> don't it still upload when you when it dies? Well, well, Damn, I hate when that happens. That shit was jumping, jumping. Because no one sent me. I ain't been doing it. Well, I've been planning and shit.